In this SCARCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about the great cabinet management features. In SCARCAD, a cabinet, otherwise known as a panel, is referred to as a location. If we expand this example project, we'll see all the sheets that belong to that project. But if we select the project, click on the Show tab, and select Locations, we'll see the locations that belong to that project instead of the sheets. This project has one location called Main Panel. A location can also have sub-locations. Select a location, then under the Show tab, click Sub-locations. This Main Panel has two sub-locations, the door and the backplate. We can easily assign components to locations and sub-locations, but why is this useful? Firstly, because it's great to know where your components are. Also, we can generate a parts list for a specific location, such as this, for example. If you've purchased the advanced license, SkyCAD can automatically show all wires external to the cabinet as dotted lines. If you've purchased the Pro license, it makes it super simple to do detailed panel layouts, such as these. So first off, let's see how we can assign components to locations. There are many different ways to do it. I'll demonstrate using this new project. We can select a component, then select Assign to Location from the Home tab. In a project, the very first time you assign a component to a location, you'll need to create a location first. We do this by clicking on the Create Add tab, then selecting New Location. SkyCAD will automatically name the new location Panel 1, but you can rename it to whatever you want by expanding its properties and changing the name. Select the new location, then click OK. This circuit breaker has now been assigned to panel 1. We can verify this by exploring the component and looking at the Located In property. We can also select multiple components and assign them to a location. Select the location you want, or if you so wish, create a new one. Then click OK. Sometimes we want a visual indication on the schematics of where components are located. For example, I want to show that these push buttons will be installed in a remote panel. To do this, select the location symbol from the library. Click once to define the first corner, then click again to define the opposite corner. A window will pop up, allowing you to choose a location or create a new one. In this case, I want to create a new one. Click on the Create Add tab, then select Location. A new location is created. I'll rename it to Remote Panel. Select the new location, then click OK. Now all the symbols inside the box will automatically be assigned to that location. We can prove this by exploring a symbol inside the box and checking the Located In property. If we move symbols outside the box, the symbols will no longer be assigned to that location. And vice versa, if we move symbols back into the box, the symbols are assigned to that location once more. We can assign components to locations from the parts list too. To view the parts list, select the project from the tree view, click on the Show tab, then select Parts list. Select a component, click on the Home tab, then select Assign to Location. Select a location, 
and click OK. You can also select multiple components by holding down the control or shift keys when selecting them. Then assign them to the same location all at once. There is a quick way to see all the components that haven't been assigned to locations yet. Select the project from the tree view, click on the show tab, then select unlocated components. In the tree view, we now see a list of all the components in the project that have yet to be assigned to locations. As with the parts list, single or multiple components can be selected and assigned to locations from the home tab. Select a location, click OK. Notice how when we assigned locations to the components, they disappeared from the list of unlocated components in the tree view. Components located in the field are not required to be assigned to locations. If components are not assigned to locations, SkyCAD will automatically assume that they are in the field. If you like, you can create a location that exists in the field, like we did with this remote panel for example. Now that all the necessary components have been assigned to locations, I'll show you some of the advantages. If we select the project from the tree view, and under the Show tab, click Locations, we'll see a list of the locations for a project shown in the tree view. If we expand a location, we can see all the components assigned to that location. This can be useful when you have a very large project with many different locations and sublocations. We can also view a parts list specific to a location by selecting the location, clicking on the Show tab, and selecting Location Parts List. We can generate this location specific parts list by clicking on the Home tab and selecting Insert List Block. SkyCAD will ask which sheet you want the parts list to be displayed on. Select a sheet, then click OK. Click once to insert it. Another advantage, if you've purchased the advanced license, is this. Click on one of the sheets, and select Show external wires in dotted lines from the Home tab. Now all the wires going to field devices are automatically shown as dotted lines. If you've purchased the Pro license, once all your components are assigned to locations, you could now generate detailed panel layouts such as these. I'll show you how to do this in a separate tutorial.